All right, hello guys, and today we're going to be looking at the Bandana Mask, possibly the most useless Kickstarter I've seen with the current situation going on in the world. Can't mention it because YouTube doesn't really like using those words, those terms, anything like that, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Starting off here, we have a video with a picture of it, and it's literally a bandana that they put ties on so you can tie it around you, but the problem with that is you can already tie a bandana around you as a mask. You can fold it over tie it around the back of your head and you're good to go. You can even tuck it up a little bit. It covers a lot of your face. Uh, there's really no need if you're worried about not having the protection against germs or something. You can fold it over multiple times and it works just fine. Um, or you just get a normal mask and even put it underneath that. It's not that big of an issue. This is something that is just not needed and as we're about to find out it's a very poorly put together Kickstarter. So let's get right into this video and see why this Kickstarter has failed. Okay, so we're just going to pause it right here because the normal corner and a bandana is not called a tie strap. Uh, that could be any corner of the bandana when you fold it that you will eventually use to tie around. But that is not exclusively a tie strap. They're just kind of making that up with this sort of poorly illustrated mess of arrows here. Okay, so they're just kind of reiterating the same tie straps thing, but what I find just hilarious about this is look at the tie strap B. They're not even tied together. What's the point of having a tie strap if you're not going to tie them together? Isn't that the whole point of having these tie straps on the bandana? Also, let's take a look at the patent pending, the trademark, and the, the copyright 2020 registered plastic all over the screen. Uh, there's no way this is patent pending or trademarked or copyrighted or anything. It's just bad. Okay, so they finally showed it tied together, but why didn't you start with that? What was the point of showing us that indeed a normal bandana could do the job without the straps? Alright, so besides the, the little symphony music in the background, that was probably the best thing about this whole video. It's literally a bandana. There's no need to buy this. Let, hold it. Let's look at the price real quick. Uh, let, let's see. Pledge $10 or more. I've already looked through all these. They're all the same thing. It's, it's like $10 and you get the bandana with the extra straps. And supposedly, if you look off, it says 23% off planned MSRP. So they're totally ripping you off. Like, hold up, let's just Google bandana, see how much one costs. All right, look at this. Look at this right here. We have 12 piece bandanas, about $20 normally. So, what on the what's the math? How are we going to get one bandana mask for $10? But we can get 12 of these perfectly fine bandanas for $20 normally. And just look at these, it's pretty consistent. You get multiple bandanas. Honestly, no point in this. This is a totally crap project. You can see it in the video quality. Their editing is absolutely terrible. Uh, they just made their product look completely useless. They showed that a normal bandana is all you need and that their product's useless in their own video. I don't see how anyone thought this was going to work. All right, I was just so in awe of that last mask project that I decided I was going to find another mask project one that was done right uh, and one that 
actually would be something good to go support. So right here we have the Kawaii face mask. Look at this, it's an actual face mask. It's not just a bandana or something, right? And while you could buy a normal face mask, you know, people want to personalize them. Uh, it's not a bad idea, you know. But if we go look right here under the pledges, three dollars. You get some stickers, five dollars, you get some postcards, postcard and sticker, thirteen dollars. That's one face mask. So that's somewhere around the estimated price of the bandana mask. But look at this. It's an actual face mask. It's going to fit snugly. You can put your own designs on it. Uh, you know, and look at this. It's been funded. It's been funded for a reason. This Kickstarter looks good. It looks very well done. Uh, you know, even almost professional looking here. And there's a reason why. They have a bunch of you know, good designs going on. They look great. They fit onto the masks, right? They, it's all got a theme, you know? Um, and masks aren't going anywhere for a little while, so why not get something that says it's you uh, instead of, you know, buying a total bandana ripoff? This is a face mask done right. Uh, nothing like that other bandana mask that was absolutely horrible. It's all about humanity.